What's going on, everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to tell you guys right now, I was not planning on putting this video together here, as you can probably tell by me using X Defiant footage. You know, I wasn't prepped for this whatsoever. I didn't think that Battlefield was going to go ahead and drop any new information for a long time now. But ladies and gentlemen, they dropped an absolute bomb on the community. And I'll be real with you guys. Although I am skeptical from, obviously, the 2042 release... The things that they're saying, though, are pretty dang solid. And, of course, I'm going to go ahead and read them all off to you guys. And I want to discuss down below on how everybody is feeling about the overall discussions they are having with the community. And if you guys think that they're pointing in the correct direction with, of course, the next Battlefield game. But, ladies and gentlemen, before we go ahead and dive deep, if you guys are interested in more content just like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. We post daily here at 8 morning Eastern time. And we are literally so close to that 50k subscriber mark, I can taste it. So, of course, like I said, if you guys are interested, subscribe and hit that bell. And last but not least, I will be live streaming at today starting at 12 p.m. Eastern time. I had to go ahead and miss my previous stream the other day, so I do apologize about that. But don't forget... I will be here today on stream, more than likely checking out a little X Define or something of that sort. So if you guys are interested and want to hang out with me, chat it up, you guys will find a link to my Twitch channel down in the description of this video. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, I know a lot of you guys who are watching my channel right now probably have come through Call of Duty or X Define, which they are indeed my main games. But believe it or not, a huge chunk of this channel was grown based off of Battlefield 2042. I would say... I, that was an insane time for me. I think we got close to 15 to 20,000 subscribers in the lifespan of Battlefield 2042. So again, believe it or not, even though I mostly focus around COD and X Defiant, you know, more arcade -ish style games, Battlefield has always had a special place in my heart and I still try to cover it every now and then. But ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, this right here is the first bit of concept art that we are getting for the brand new Battlefield experience. It is what it is. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Although it does look pretty cool, I don't give a crap about trailers, concept art, anything. Even the words that I'm about to read to you guys, although they sound very good, I am at a point with pretty much every franchise, every franchise I can think of, I'm at a point where I have to play it. I have to play it because if we're going to be real here, EA, Activision, you know, every top dog publisher out there prioritizes the living hell out of marketing. I, I can't even imagine the budget they have for the marketing campaigns for these games compared to anything else that they have a budget for. Like seriously, they put in a ton of work when it comes to making sure the game looks good outside of the real gameplay. But the real question is going to be, will this game actually live up and be a solid competitor? But let's go ahead and dive right into the details. As you can see here from Battlefield Bulletin, and I believe this is from an article from IGN that covered all this information. But again, it's a lot easier from these tweets because they really do summarize it perfectly. But breaking first official details on the next Battlefield. Modern setting, Battlefield 3 slash Battlefield 4 era. All out warfare, air, land, sea, as we already know usually. Maps, well designed play spaces that are more akin to previous battlefields. 64 players, no specialists. Class system is back. Screw the specialist. Thank God, man. Natural disasters slash events. Again, we heard this one before. It's being developed by DICE, Motive, a Ripple Effect, and Criterion. They're expanding Battlefield Universe. 2025 release window. EA is playtesting the game every week. EA plans to launch a community program next week. And the concept art, obviously, that I just went ahead and showcased to you guys. But let me show you another tweet here that kind of went into some more details of what the developers were actually saying about the game. Not just the key points that are going to be in the game, but let's see what the developers have to say. This is a good post here from Westy, who really went into some good deal. Like, this is, this is some good stuff right here. But again, return to, you know, obviously, modern combat setting. Classes return. But Battlefield 3 and 4, used as North Star, Zempella, we have to get back to the core of what Battlefield is and do that amazingly well. And then we'll see where it goes from there. Next up, 64 player focus. We're designing something that is more akin to previous Battlefields. I'd rather have nice, dense, really nice, well-designed play spaces. Some of them are really good. I can't wait for you to see some of them. And lastly, EA wants community to play the game before launch. We have a program that we are going to announce next year around getting more community in because that's kind of the core of what we have to do. Get the community back on our side. Get that trust back. Those words right there, 
that is what's really giving me some hope here, ladies and gentlemen. That that right there is what's giving me hope. The fact that they're acknowledging that Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 are the GOATs, and they want to go back to what made Battlefield so special, that right there, firstly, was a huge thumbs up in my personal opinion. But ladies and gentlemen, that's not it. You can't just simply say, oh yeah, Battlefield 3 and 4 are fantastic, and then expect your community to be won over. I mean... They tried to do something similar with 2042 with how they nostalgia baited the crap out of us with their first initial trailer, right? You can't just say that. But acknowledging that you guys fluked up tremendously and have lost pretty much all community support is a huge step in the right direction. Acknowledging that you guys fluked up and you have work to do to gain back trust, that is what I want to hear. It sounds like a bummer. I know it does sound like a bummer, but it's the freaking truth. It is the truth. In the current day of the age of gaming, we need proof from these developers that they give a crap not only for the game, but for the community who backs up this game. So to see that they are open about this, they want to gain our trust back, and they're also going to allow people to play early. This right here is probably the biggest news. That's what we need. I'm hoping it's not like how it was with 2042 where they had, you know, exclusive, you know, only a handful of the EA creators could come in and play it because obviously that's a waste of time because you already know all the people who are getting paid aren't going to give genuine impressions. They're getting paid, so they're just going to hype it up and all this crap. No, we need it to be open to more than just those creators. It doesn't have to be open to everybody, but at least some of the hardcore audience as well. Get people in there who enjoy Battlefield, who play Battlefield, Battlefield, who genuinely want to see your game grow, not people who are you're going to pay for their opinions. No, you need people in there who are going to test it and give you hard, harsh feedback to help you improve the overall game. But that right there is such a big step in the right direction to see that again, not only they're going to bring it back to a style like Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4, but they're also willing to acknowledge they have fluked up and they want people to come in, test the game, try the game, and help them perfect it before it launches. Because if there's one thing that Battlefield screws up on a regular basis, that is the launch of their games. I don't think I've ever seen any development team struggle more with the launch of their titles than EA DICE. It's always a problem, no matter what. So I hope that allowing this to be more open to people, and they want people to hop in and test things and experience things... Hopefully, they can polish it off more before the final launch. And again, as we all know in game design, nothing could be launched perfect. You can test a trillion things out behind the scenes. But once the game goes live and it's open to the public, anything can pop up. Any Anything wrong can happen. But I think there's a difference between perfecting off a game and having things randomly pop up and then dropping something like Battlefield 2042 where it was l quite literally unplayable for over half the you know the, the audience there half the community i mean people were refunding it with how poorly it ran it was, it was a disaster we can't see that again especially for the next battlefield title and coming off of battlefield 2042 okay not everybody watches content again us content creators we are such a small portion of this community and the people who watch our content once again we're such a small portion of the community a lot of the casual audience who plays Battlefield, they hopped on, saw how crappy it was, and didn't even bother to bat an eye at 2042 ever again, let alone anything that's produced with the Battlefield logo on it. You have to win those people over, and the only way to do so is to not launch it in an absolute dog water state. It has to perform at least semi-well for people to actually, you know, take it serious. But ladies and gentlemen, as always, on paper, it sounds pretty solid. You know, a return to the 64 player count, although I thought 128 wasn't too shabby. I just think the map designs were absolute dog water for 128. But again, the mass majority of people wanted 64. So, you know, we got 64 players, traditional classes, no more specialists, right? A return to the time periods of like Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4. It's going to be modern combat. And they're taking a ton of inspiration from those goaded games. I, 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 dumb acknowledging they messed up and they want their community to trust them again. So they're going to be very open with them and allow them to play the game and test things. Again, on paper, it sounds very solid, but patience nowadays, especially is key. Ladies and gentlemen, wait, we'll see. It's going to be dropping in 2025. We've got plenty of time to see where they are headed. You know, I, I still remember posts from like Marcus Leto. You know, the, the, one of the guys who made the original Halo, you know, series. 
it's just saying how he hates EA and he had everything to do with them and every project they have to do, you know, and he was just on Battlefield, you know, the new Battlefield game that they're producing here. So, you know, there's still some things that I've seen and heard that did not look very good nor sound very good. But again, on paper, the things they're listening to us. I mean, I, what can you complain about? Right. What can you complain about? All I can say is just stay cautious and don't get finessed like we did with the previous Battlefield title. But ladies and gentlemen, as always, go down in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think that this news and this information is good? Do you think it's bad? Do you think they're lying? Do you think it's just all for show, all for talk to get people talking, you know, hyped up for the next Battlefield game? Or do you think that they're serious and being very sincere here about the words that they're saying? But as always, if you guys enjoyed today's video, leave a like. If you hate it, leave a dislike. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. I post daily at 8 in the morning Eastern time. And of course, if you guys want to check out my live stream, I will be live today over on Twitch around probably 12 p.m. Eastern time. If you guys are interested, you guys can find a link to my channel down in the description of this video. But as always, thank you for tuning in. And I'll see you all next one. Peace out.